Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, you got your uh, diploma over there. It's your funny. diploma from where? Yeah, that, that's uh, from uh, Phoenix University. Yeah. Degree in um, racial science. <laughs> Phrenology. The yeah. way, they took me off of notable alumni recently on Wikipedia. You used to be notable? I used to be on there. Yeah. yeah. Really? Imagine being so racist you couldn't be a, a famous alumni for a Christian college. <laughs> and you know what sucks ass too is I'm not the most retarded guy. I'm not the most retarded notable alumni. No, you know it's who is actually? Daniel Johnston. It's Daniel Johnston. Daniel Johnston went yeah. to our college and then tried to kill his dad so they kicked him out. <laughs> Is that what he did? He literally, did yeah, literally his dad, I think, was dry, was flying him in a little Cessna plane that he owned back from Abilene Christian. And then he he thought he, the devil told Daniel Johnson to kill him and his dad. And he ripped the controls out of his hand and they, they crashed the plane. I, well, I think Daniel Johnson, that's what Casper, the friendly ghost, that song's about. He thought he was Casper, right? Mm-hmm. So he thought he could fly. So then he pulled the he reached over. Yeah. It was like, I'm Casper. And he turned the ignition off. Yeah. And, he br- and you can't turn it back on. Yeah. Once you do that. Yeah. Yeah. So the plane just crashed. And they they lived, but yeah. Oh my god! They're like, don't be. So then he just started making music about like devil ta- devils and uh, yeah. all that. Yeah. Well, no, it's funny because all of his music, if you listen to it, is like burgers taste nice, pickles are yummy, and then meanwhile he's like stabbing his dad in the chest like eighty five times. But he's so retarded that he can be sweet in in music only. Yeah. He has one song I love called uh, "Real Love Will Find You in the End," and he's like, "That's a great song." Great. Real love will find you. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny because you're like, "Oh, you're not, no, no, you're retarded," you know, like you're never he, gonna get. Pussy. He was he was kind of like a like a like a Wendy's employee that like just re- had a lot of soul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was muddy waters of Burger King. <laughs> he was Burger <laughs> BB King. <laughs> I, I I love that song. True no, I love it. In the end, yeah, I'm going to Austin um, next week. I'll probably see his little uh, "Hi, how are you?" graffiti or whatever. Oh, right. A lot yeah. of people think the whole uh, uh, what is it on the side of that coffee shop where it's like "I love you so much." They, I love you so they much. They think that's him. And I'm like, no, no that's not it. That's some that's, live, love, laugh horseshit. Yeah, that was two dykes who were eating each other's pussies. Yes, <laughs> had to let the whole goddamn world know about it. Two dykes that couldn't drink coffee unless there was like loads of chocolate in it. I had one of their famous coffees. Those fatzos. <laughs> Austin's so Austin's weird because it's not to me. Mm-hmm. When yeah. I was there, I was like, "This is totally normal and mm-hmm. gay." Yeah. Which, by the way, come see our live show February. 7th. Yeah, yeah, come out. Yeah, February seventh. Somebody yeah. just got shot on Sixth Street. <laughs> Should be a good time. <laughs> Did they really? Yeah, the yeah. cops. Cops killed a guy. He was like, he had like a mat. He had like a ski mask. Mm-hmm. Kind of, not a ski mask. Um, you know, and like you're covering your chin and your eyebrows. Sure. Y- you couldn't see his mouth. And he's just like standing with in like a highlighter jacket and he's outside of a bar on 6th Street and all these cops are I think they the they wouldn't let him into the bar because he would he refused the pat down. Mm-hmm. So then the cops walk over and they're just, they're all being very casual. And then the guy just starts reaching for his gun and they just murder him right up front. Of the well, bar. yeah, that's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. I also love that 6th Street is so shitty that you, you needed pat downs for weapons at bars. Yeah. Like you're in fucking Buster Scruggs. <laughs> Right, you you're on Sixth Street. A guy's like, "You gotta check your pistol at the door, Mister." Well, I'm not kidding. When I saw it, I immediately went and watched the latest Kill Tony to see if he had done it <laughs> earlier that day. Yeah, Tony just slipped him a gun in a in a newspaper. <laughs> yeah. He said, "You know what to do." Retarded man, I make money off of. Man, I saw they were playing Madison Square Garden. I almost hung myself in my closet. <laughs> like David David Carradine. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I was like, I was looking around my apartment like I just escaped from a mental institution. Yeah. I was like, okay, those pants, those joggers could hold me up. They're I could, fine. I could it, wrap them around a pole. It's a huge show. Yeah. And they, they deserve every bit of it. Yeah. No, they, they deserve the same fandom that the New York Knicks have. <laughs> They're bigger than the Knicks. Hans Kim is point guard now. Yeah. It's Lynn Sanity out there. <laughs> Yeah, one guy from Brooklyn showing up. He's like, Jeremy, I thought we traded him. <laughs> Fucking Christ. It yeah, is, man. They're huge. Yeah. I mean, it might as well be the Roman Coliseum. Like, here's all the retards. We'll have a bear come out and eat them. You I know? do love that show because if you have like any like fucked up 
like fringe family members like oh yeah like our nephew he's like almost homeless and he's a drug addict. if you put that show on you could find them like it's <laughs> it's if, if if any family members are missing like yeah. if you have any like estranged family members that are missing and they lost their minds mm-hmm. just watch kill tony he'll pop up kill tony he'll, he'll be coming out and performing yeah kill tony's the new milk carton for this country <laughs> <laughs> they're like we found johnny <laughs> Well, that's how you get on the show, by Johnny the way. Johnny Gosh. Is on yeah. Kill Tony. Yeah. They're, they're performing on Kill Tony, the guy from um, Paris, Texas. <laughs> Just walked out of the desert with a red hat and a suit. Yeah, you're watching the Kill Tony. You're like, is that the Lindbergh baby? <laughs> What's Harry Dean Stan doing? <laughs> Kill Tony, then he died. People that are just wandering through the desert no, with a suitcase. Yeah. To get on the show, you have to like walk through a wormhole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In like really, the woods. So yeah, you dig up one of those staircases that end right. in the middle. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> before, before you go and co- kill Tony, you just appear on the ground naked and covered in goo, like shivering. <laughs> <laughs> like you were you were transported from a yeah. from another dimension. They come out, Tony has to give them skin to skin contact. <laughs> yeah, they're born in this big black goo pit that he, they have to haul them out of like orcs. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. I saw a clip of Hans Kim. He was like flipping out on this guy. Yeah, he like he lost like, his mind. I thought yeah. the roast battle was like a friendly thing, and then like he. I guess some people I take it know. very seriously. Well, kill time. It's that's the, that show. It makes it, it allows insects to feel like apex <laughs> predators. <laughs> it's it's like crazy. You just watch like a cricket come out, and he gets a bunch of praise he kind of doesn't deserve, and then after yeah. a while, he turns into a monster. Yeah, the show is really two scorpions in a glass. It's <laughs> but with humans, <laughs> there should be a big toad there that just eats like. Hans Kim or whoever is coming yeah, out. Should, they should throw him in a big tub and just throw a knife in the middle of it. <laughs> I mean, who was the? It looked like it's like a Down Syndrome Mandingo fighting that show. <laughs> yeah, they throw the hammer at him and he just eats it, mm-hmm. swallows the ball peen hammer. Mm-hmm. But all that being said, you know they do great. He's they're they're yeah. great. So they're I good act- for him. I actually like the show. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a fascinating. It's a freak show. That I mean, that'll be like the top comment, by the way. Is, I, I I don't know what they're talking about. I like the show. I like the show. Oh yeah, well they, mm-hmm. everyone like everyone does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Yeah, it's great. I, we I gotta it. say it's great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's good. Yeah, it's it's great. It's like if you took a Stern in the '90s and took away all the people who could do broadcasting. Yeah, and you're just left with the retards. <laughs> it's like if Beetlejuice Beetlejuice hosted Stern. <laughs> It's a show hosted by Beetlejuice and Stuttering John the Retard. Uh, and they're bringing in the guy in New Jersey with the world's smallest penis. Dude, speaking of which, did you see the Bass Pro Shots guy? The guy that jumped today? in the, Yeah, he had a micro be- dick. That was I'd beautiful. I'd play it, but we get kicked off YouTube. Well, I don't know if we would. Would we? Because it's not... He you has can't, no dick. You, you can't, can't yeah, see his that's penis. True, but they would, they would just think it's a naked woman. It does look like a fat, naked like. Yeah, it's like a cherubim. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was somebody threw Lena Dunham in there, folks. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, thought it was I, I don't think you could play it, Ben. I can't. No, no you can't it's, play it. It's a naked guy. I'm yeah. Type there was a <laughs> blurred. That'll do it. There was a really funny. Somebody took a photo. He, I think he, he climbed out of the tank and just fell out of it. He might have knocked himself off. He's laying on the ground like Peter Griffin with his ass showing, and it looks. <laughs> somebody else said this. It looks like a biblical painting from like the Renaissance. Mm-hmm. It looks like <laughs> right, right, right. It looks like Satan falling to hell. Yeah, he looks like a, like a Rubenesque woman. Yes. And like a, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. This should be like little cherubs carrying banners <laughs> and clouds and stuff. <laughs> yeah. There it is. <laughs> that's that's like Cartman. Cartman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, that man. That man has no penis. <laughs> he literally. I has think no I dick. can play this on YouTube. There's no penis. There's no penis. There's barely pubes. That's how small his dick. You're is. still gonna have to blur it. I probably will. Have YouTube's to blur crazy, it, yeah. but yeah, yeah he has I love no dick. Spreading your legs and there's no penis showing. Wouldn't it be great if there is there, like Bass Pro Sports had like a great white in the water? <laughs> yeah, just pin them against he's, the glass. He's eaten alive in front of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Ass first. <laughs> Yeah, one of those 100 pound catfish comes up and starts swallowing him. <laughs> they just four big catfish drown him at the bottom of the pool and eat him. It really Bass Pro Sports is awesome. It does rule. I've been to a few. It's like fucking. It's like di- Disneyland for Republicans. Yeah, truly. Let it's it's see, a fun place. Let me see if they've answered for this. Yeah, Bass Pro Shop. They're like that was uh, that was the vice president of Bass Pro Shop. No, they're just business as usual. Yeah, they have not commented on. No, the they're not gonna. Yeah. 
about they're just like you know the best the best part of the head to shoot a deer in <laughs> I love hunters. They're just like you got to respect the animal. It's all about the love of the. It's animal. all about it's all about the nature. What I do is I have nine thousand dollars <laughs> worth of a uh, decoy gear. It's a beautiful creature. It's a beautiful creature. That's why I like to take a I like to take an AK forty seven up to their head. <laughs> That's why I like to treat it like the, a Korean in nineteen fifty three. <laughs> beautiful animal. So it's what's interesting is there's only two people that have tweeted at them. One guy, his avi is a cat. And it mm-hmm. says, don't prosecute the vet that jumped into the aquarium. Donate to a mental health organization for veterans. Oh, he was a veteran. Oh, was he a vet? I guess he was a vet. And then the comment below that is some guy. He just says, come on, play with it. Oh, hmm. interesting. I think he wants them to like make a big he deal wasn't. Out of I it. bet he's not even a He's a veterinarian <laughs> yeah. who lost his mind. There's no way that guy was a vet, right? I no. mean, maybe. I don't know, but. What, is, what does that have to, I mean, yeah, okay, so give him some help. Uh, but A mayonnaise jar head? He's doing better than most vets. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's getting taken a true. bath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's going to get three hots and a cot. <laughs> yeah. It's better than most of our veterans. Poor guy. Uh, that's great. <laughs> Never mind. That's great. The internet kicks ass, <laughs> yeah. dude. Are you sure I have to blur this out? I, Maybe just blur out his little nub. Yeah. His, yeah. Oh, here it is him, I oh, think, falling Oh, this is him out. falling out. <laughs> yeah. He did a Oh, send me a picture. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's what I'm talking about. I want to watch him. I want to watch him fall out. Does he jump oh, out? Right. There we go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. Don't ask. And then they comment on that. <laughs> goes, nice job, dumbass. <laughs> You know, the funniest thing is he probably thought this was the Capitol building. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. it's that time of the year. He thought it was Jan 6, 2021. <laughs> he thought it was the first one. Man, he took a bad fall, that poor guy. Yeah, he landed right on his no penis. I mean, God, I love harmless, good viral fun. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's yeah. great. It's good for I him. mean, the, the, the picture of the cops like handcuffing him and you still he's walking. You still can't see his penis. It's like a good photo. And he has no penis or balls. <laughs> yeah, it looks like when Lee Harvey Oswald gets shot by Jack Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a guy in a cowboy hat just going. <laughs> looking, at <laughs> small dick. looking at a small dick is going. <laughs> by the way, interesting. Uh, uh, the Lee Harvey Oswald that photo. I uh-huh. think that's the first soy face caught in a photograph. That is by true. Lee Harvey Oswald, a commie mm-hmm. cuck, a commie cuck bastard, a little Russian cuck. The first DSA member ever, <laughs> <laughs> Harvey Oswald. Yeah. Uh, he it said he did a cannonball leap into the aquarium and then stood under a waterfall. 42 years old. Damn. Do you think the the weight of 42 years of a micro penis just finally snapped him? <laughs> Probably. His and brain he, just broke in he's half. He's like, "You all want to see it? Here it is." And he thinks the only he thinks the world is Bass Pro Shops. <laughs> he's like, "I hear this one." Yeah, his dick is so small he thinks he's a fish. <laughs> we go Yeah, we, well, he sees on outside Bass Pro Shop. It says "Outdoor World." Yeah, he's like, "I'm gonna show the whole the wide whole- world. <laughs> I'm gonna show the whole wide world." Yeah, <laughs> what I'm working with. And really, this this guy's kind of a hero because his other choice was to shoot up the Bass Pro Shop. Yes, this is it was it's such a, a better version. It's mm-hmm. a good it's a good start. Yes, you know, start showing your tiny. If, if Stephen Paddock was at Mandalay Bay, just pressing his tiny penis against the glass, that'd be yeah, right. I mean, we'd all have a good laugh and no one would be hurt. Exactly. You know, exactly. This man will kill himself later. He'll, once he'll, he gets... I mean, yeah, he's he was he, I'm sure he's dead in a ravine somewhere. Yeah, but once he makes bail. Yeah. Is it another guy did this once? Uh, the, in 2020, some guy did it for TikTok. Oh, followers. fuck you. Yeah. They should put him away for life. And this other guy should get like an award. <laughs> yeah, they should give him that guy's penis. <laughs> <laughs> they should transplant him. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, brutal, man. Poor dude. Yeah. Anyway, the, fuck him. There's the, I want to go. Shit. I want to go to the one in Memphis. They have a pyramid Bass Pro Shop in Memphis. Oh, that's like a big. Uh, it's a big pyramid. Yeah, like the one in uh, Vegas. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, they made Jews build it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a dead guy buried in the middle. I had to skip past the uh, sex scene in Heat. Oh, nice. I'm playing it on 240p, so it doesn't get a uh, doesn't mm. get flagged. Won't get flagged. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't nice. skip past the shooting. Can't wait scene, for Heat too. Really glad he's wasting his time on yeah. the... that. Definitely won't suck, and then Michael Mann will die. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> God. 
I saw Ferrari. Ferrari was like piece of shit. You said fucking right? Boring. Yeah. I mean, Adam Driver. He just he's he's supposed to just play weird guys in Brooklyn. Yeah. Why just, is he Why is he playing two Italians two in a Italians row? Two Italians in a row. It's in like, a Michael Mann movie. It right? always seems like an SNL sketch or something. Like yeah. He's acting in it. Patrick Dempsey's showing up with a full head of like white. He's like Ice Meister. <laughs> just being like, Are you, I was driving the car with the ashy tray. I put in it. It's been quite a year for movies, though. Quite quite a year, Devin. Saw that zone of interest the other day. Yeah, more like zone of no interest. <laughs> <But> fucking bore. <laughs> Snooze fest. It's just fucking, it's just about Nazis that live next to Auschwitz and like the guy is like the GM of Auschwitz. Mm -hmm. Does and this he, take place during Nazi times? Yeah, yeah. It's in the middle of the war and like the, the guy, he's coming home, he's a Nazi and he's just like, oh God, he's just like, what a day, these yeah. fucking Jews. Oh, like, man. You won't believe it. They want me to build another crematorium. Boss told me, he said, I want 500 teeth on my desk by Monday morning. <laughs> he's like, so I had to take their shoes off all day and these, these fucking Jews, they, they're tight. They, they, they Tie him tight. Yeah, call his wife. Be like, honey, I can't make the baseball game. I got, uh, I got eight thousand more Jews to kill. It's literally. And, the, if, and in the background, the wife just hears, "Oh, it's so cold. Why can't I put my shoes back on? It's freezing in here. I'm so hungry." He's like, "Listen, none of us want to be here. You're not helping by being Jewish." It is. There's literally scenes. There's scenes of, of him being bored as you hear gunshots and people being gassed, mm -hmm. and he's just like, oh, Ugh. God, when am I off? Yeah, I, I do love the idea of a guy walking in the dock out and being like, oh, Mondays, am I right? <laughs> Got a case of the money. Yeah, pouring the Mr. Coffee in. Yeah. Still, like, That's got to be torture for the Nazis, too, to like have to go through all that. Yeah, to have to deal with the, all that Jew, those Jews. Yeah. And you're putting them through hell, too. So, I mean, the complaining was like warranted. Imagine mm -hmm. when a Jew actually gets to complain and it's warranted. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. it's yeah. fucking insane. Yeah, it must sound like like a weird, like wild animal. <laughs> we're, we are we are headed straight towards a second strike. <laughs> There's a YouTube umpire watching this yeah. right now. A bit is Roger Clemens. <laughs> Seven times Cy Young winner. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm a I'm a fucking libtard on Twitter now, so I, this is my only outlet. To you, be bad. that is some of the best work I've ever seen anyone I've ever known do. It's true. It's, you should. A win lot a of people Globe. hate it. It's I so funny. It. I laugh so hard. You're so consistent. You catch I every know. single Elon tweet. I and, know. I have notifications set oh, for when he tweets. It's amazing. The memes you're posting. Where, where do you get these things from? How do I, you have them locked and loaded? I just, I have, I have a way. God, you're, and you have a kid. It's fucking, you're sick. I know. I'm, I have the baby like this and I'm tweeting. <laughs> it's it's I'm truly tweeting sick. tweeting to get vaccinated. Yeah, it's truly sick. Yeah. I mean, I walked in earlier. The baby was underneath. The baby was in a crib and there was Will and Don playing above it. <laughs> It's like nothing changed except there's a baby now. That's it. And then we put the golden globes on and the baby started flipping off Joe Coy. <laughs> the baby went hack. Filipino hag. <laughs> yeah, but no, your, tw your Twitter stuff's been amazing. Thank you. I'll, I'll just go in the replies and just like go through it. People, they really think every time that they got me. Mm -hmm. Ha ha, I got <laughs> People, you. I love yeah. their and then they go, they, they go, I'm going to look at this dumbass retard who's he's, he's a failure. I'm going to look up his fucking podcast. It's libtard cock. And then it's me going, actually, you know, I don't think Chauvin had a fair trial, actually. And yeah. uh, I, I think George Floyd. I think it was a. It might have been an overdose. Who knows? Yeah, they're, they're and going, they are going. What the fuck is <laughs> this guy? Blue? This guy rules. Yeah, you're, you're like the most <laughs> evasive man on the internet. I'm like, it's so. It must be such a crazy experience for all mm -hmm. of them that they're like sexually confused over it. Where they're yeah. like, what the? F they just pull out their dick. They yeah. start jacking off. Like, I want. I think he's awesome. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I want to fuck him and I got to kill myself because I'm gay now. <laughs> You're looking at, oh, he pulled up Floyd's autopsy report. Ah, yeah, from the, the medical examiner, not from Floyd's family. <laughs> oh, why, yeah. That's why the Bass Pro guy jumped in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> he saw your Twitter, then the podcast. Yeah. I'm a, I am love being a shit eating lib, though. It's You're one really, of the funnest things. You're really to good me. at it. You're so good. Yeah. The, the, just the, I, um, actually. Um, the vaccine saved our lives. I'm, I'm doing this for 30 days, and there's no <laughs> way by the end of it I don't get banned because I'm pissing off so many people. Mm -hmm. I also, uh, yesterday, I think I went too far. I accused Jimmy Kimmel of raping me at knife point. <laughs> you did. <laughs> that really? was the, you sent that. No, you, you sent that in the group chat, and it was actually pretty disturbing to me. <laughs> 
because you said it at like 4 p.m. and it's it's a 20 tweet thread of, of you telling a long story. Jimmy oh, Kimmel. right, that one. Uh, by the way, I had the her thread. like this. I mm-hmm. had a bottle in her mouth and I was doing this I know. as I'm typing with one hand. I know. It computer. was it was literally like me finding the all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy <laughs> at the shining. I was like, this is in, this is a sickness. It was my second thread of the day too. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I want, made one about January 6th yeah. that afternoon. I didn't want. I didn't think you were going to change, but I didn't think you were going to get worse. <laughs> <laughs> the double down. No, that's the thing. You have a kid. You start working way harder. Actually, right. You're like, I'm going to die one day. I have to piss off way many more people than I'm you pissing are, off right now. You are doing it for money. At, at it, the end of the day, I'm trying to pay for this. My daughter's hospital bill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, with uh, through uh, X. Yeah, I, and you can make some big bucks. Yeah, there's a. I told you guys, there's a lot of money in being an unlikable shithead on the. Internet. You start understanding Brooklyn defiant dad. Mm-hmm. You're like he's just. He's got some kids to feed. <laughs> He's Ian Miles a, Chong. There's a lot of money in sucking ass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ian God Chong damn it, I'm getting in on it. Why, yeah. You know, it's all for their family. No, Ian yeah. Miles Chong is looking at my replies and he's going, God damn it, he's good. Yeah. He goes, he goes I got some competition. <laughs> Ian Miles Chong's message. He goes, Hey, man, big fan of your stuff. <laughs> we should, um, I'm, I'm in um, WeHo next month. We should get in. A lot of my fans are saying, You suck ass almost as much as I do. <laughs> Yeah, and he thinks your fat profile picture is actually you. So you guys have a oh, lot in common. Fat one. Yeah. Well, I just I got the blue check taken away because I changed it to that smug shit eating pic of mine. Mm. The one where I'm doing this. Ugh. And that takes your blue check God. away? Yeah, because then they have to review it, but it's probably just they wait two days and they don't actually have someone checking. Oh, no, there's no way. Yeah, twi- Twitter headquarters is like a homeless camp. There's like guys jacking off into trash cans and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't they put their like a new sign up every day and then the city of San Francisco comes out and they go, you got it, that's not allowed, mm-hmm. take it down. They actually, they changed it to X because the building had been condemned. <laughs> So they're like, well, I know how we'll cover this up. Yeah, it's like when a, uh, you get a C health rating on your mm-hmm. restaurant, and you're like, yeah, come yeah. inside. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah, exactly. He's like, we're doing great. That's why we spray painted big red X mm-hmm. like we were in Hurricane Katrina. Condiments are free. It's great. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, I think uh, I'm pissing off so many people, though, and people are messaging me. They're really mad. Uh, I think someone might try to kill me. I hope I don't get doxxed over doing this, but I'm going to keep charging. I, I left it up to a poll. You guys voted, so you can't get fucking pissed at me. I'm going to do it for 30 days and see how much money I can make and, and pay that hospital bill off, mm-hmm. all right? It's it's not cheap to my favorite are the are the strangers that like don't yeah, know don't who know you know are you. and yeah. they're they're like bro you post under every Elon tweet <laughs> like get a life dude for real <laughs> for like, real little do they know this is like a social experiment you're like the Joker <laughs> of sucking ass yeah they've just walked into one of Saw's traps <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, I will respond to Elon once a day, every 10 minutes. <laughs> There's like a timer on a boat. Yeah. Riddle me this, Batman. What if I was so gay it was based? I've been in a, uh, you know, L.A. is, uh, it's, 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 it's the devil town. Mm-hmm. And it's it's cuck capital of the United sure. States of America. You're on your Cat Williams shit right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I've studied these motherfuckers for 10 years yeah. out here. I've seen, you know how many shit-eating libs I've stood oh, yeah. on yeah. at a coffee bean and just overheard conversations mm. i have it down oh yeah today i caught myself you're because a master it's a subconscious thing where i tweeted at a guy he goes oh bro do you hate the united states and i go no i love the united states of america uh it, it is it's my favorite country on planet e oh god you're like a ligger <laughs> Wait, what is that? A liberal, like a, like a liberal, fake liberal, <laughs> liberal wigger. I don't know. Uh, I, uh, okay, I, no, I no, like it. no, we're oh, naming no. the episode that <laughs> liquor. You might be right. Because I am appropriating culture in a weird you way. You are, yeah. It's like mm-hmm. fucked up. You're a fraud. Mm-hmm. But it's weird because you're in, you're a fraud for being yeah, a fraud. Your do rag is a mask. <laughs> You wear it outside. Everyone's oh, like, look at that a, fucking ligger. It's a COVID mask. <laughs> a COVID mask. Yeah. You have a T-Drick jersey. Yeah. yeah. You, have a, you know, I'm like, I, I'm vaccinated sticker on your shirt every day. Dude, people are telling me to take the Jimmy Kimmel thing down, though, because apparently he's very litigious and he's like yeah. suing Aaron Rodgers yeah, right he now. Yeah, went, he went crazy with Aaron Rodgers. Mm-hmm. So Aaron Rodgers was just mad at him. Which is tweeting? an appropriate response to a guy making like an offhanded joke that you are a pedophile. And then you go, I'm suing you. <laughs> I, I, this won't look weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'll prove I'm not a pedophile. <laughs> I'll see you in court. Hi, I'm just like a- Alan Dershowitz does. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking freaks. 
Yeah, I know. He's, Aaron Rodgers is just upset that uh, Jimmy Kimmel is making shitty jokes about him and his fucking ivermectin, you know, non getting vaccinated stuff. So Aaron Rodgers, that's just a little fuck you to him. It's not like he doesn't actually think he was on the well, island. That's yeah. the thing that Jimmy warranted this completely. And it's yeah. like you're in the arena. You're taking shots at him. He's going to take shots at you. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't really understand the Aaron Rodgers. But hate. classic shit lib of of uh, the beginning of the tweet of Jimmy's tweet. Aaron Rodgers says, "Hey asshole, a, comma. no a asshole," because his, his nickname's A Rod. So this is the worst joke of all time, Ben. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought it was a typo. <clears throat> no, 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 no. His, it's it's somehow geez. worse than that. It's wor way yeah. worse. Because his, his nickname's be what? Was, his nickname's A Rod. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. They call him A Rod. So he's calling him asshole, like A A asshole. A A asshole. Oh, that yeah. stinks. Yeah. yeah. It's it would, always worse than it's 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 worse than you could ever imagine. It's it, it truly Kimmel. It would be better if he was drunk at four a.m. and would like just called him you know a faggot on Twitter or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It would be better going Kamiya mode than just being like I'll sh I'll show I'm a comedian and I'll show you the you know going to like Mr. Smith goes to Washington mode all of a sudden. <laughs> Just being like, I'm a comedian and I'm going to cry about this. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. I, I cleansed my timeline and then I had to bring it back a couple more people so I could tweet at them. But for like a couple of weeks, it was just my feed was just like you guys and uh uh, there, uh, that and then, gay kid Devin, the, <laughs> Devin the self. No, I had fuck, followed him. He jumped the shark. Yeah, he got. He, he went, went corporate. Yeah. He jumped the shark. He's doing <laughs> Pfizer commercials now. <laughs> He's dating Travis Kelsey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just tweeting. He's like, Travis, turn my little gay to that side. <laughs> I decided I didn't want to see anything political, so it was just like, uh, like uh, it was you guys, and then it would just every now and then it would just be like Anthony Cumia quote tweeting, just mm -hmm. like a video of a, of someone getting their car stolen in like mm -hmm. a gas station, mm -hmm. and he just writes animals, <laughs> and it has seven thousand retweets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, now you have to be political. You have to look at the political stuff because you're a kingpin. I know, but this the weird thing is I feel like it almost feels like when Neo goes into the Matrix and he gets fucked up mm -hmm. and like, right. you know, he, he doesn't really have, he doesn't know Kung Fu and shit yet. Yeah, and then he has to go back into the Matrix to save Morpheus. Right. That's what it feels like I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I feel like I'm dodging every bullet and I'm... Like I can't be killed. I'm like immortal. You're beginning it's crazy. Yeah, you're beginning to believe that you're gay. <laughs> yeah, he, he's beginning to suck ass. Yeah. So you're telling me I won't need to tweet? <laughs> no, Neil, you'll just be gay in real life. <laughs> I would love you fighting in the sequel. You fighting a thousand e miles chongs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like he's Agent yeah. Smith, <laughs> but just easily beating him because he's he's the size of Toad in Super Mario Brothers, size and width. Yeah, yeah. It, the, instead of uh, uh, running to a phone booth, I run to a, a, a COVID testing tent. <laughs> yeah, that's how you. Walk and then out. when my finger gets uh, pricked, then I wake up back out of the matrix. Mm -hmm. You get pulled out. Yeah. yeah. And then you're in a you're in a beautiful life. Actually, <laughs> you're actually going into the matrix to be you. You oh, are. Yeah, I get the, out of the matrix and I have a beautiful wife yeah. and a newborn baby. And she's like, she's like, Ben, stop. The baby hasn't seen you in days. You're like, I gotta go back in. And then you go into the matrix, and then it's you waking up in the egg of goo. <laughs> <You're> like, <"Rrr." laughs> it, it's come though. Yeah, you're like, I gotta I suck ass. I gotta eat oatmeal cum on a big ship. I hope I don't lose myself in the character because I'm genuinely worried by like day 30, like I'm watching gay pornography. Yeah. <laughs> like to get into character. Mm -hmm. Like I'm literally gay. You I'm gotta lose yourself in the fag you pretend to be a lot. <laughs> you only get one yeah. tweet. Do not miss your chance to make an impression. Yeah. You might you might go like Keith Ledger mode and just get lost to it, you know. Well, I'm gonna kill yourself by uh, injecting the vaccine so much you get myocarditis. <laughs> I'm also gonna be fucking pissed, by the way, if at the end of this I only uh, get like thirty dollars. Yeah, that would be insane. I think that's what's gonna happen, by the way. Probably. But Ian Miles Chong and these guys, yeah, he doesn't get that many impressions on his tweets. He just tweets all the time. He gets yeah. like ten to twenty thousand impressions on his tweets, and he's making like thirty five thousand dollars a month. You gotta start asking like more questions and like doing like polls and stuff. That's how they like farm a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. Like you know, they they'll just say like, guys, eggs Benedict, yes or no. <laughs> I've noticed they do. And then, I think also, uh, not to get, this might be uh, very Jimmy Kimmel of me, but I think the people who get lots of money, they're usually like accounts that are called like, 
you know, at women being faggots. And they like, <laughs> you know, they post a news story that's like, like this account, fats yeah. posting L. Yeah, exactly. Fats posting L. This guy's making a, a Bitcoin a day. Oh mm-hmm. my God, all these Twitter. people being trampled for their Stanley cups. Yeah. Oh, the, the. I am so sick. What is with. Is that, why is all, why are all Americans pretending they drink water all of a sudden? <laughs> what this, is this? This is literally why I brought this up. This is up. to keep their Mountain Dew lattes warm yeah. all at, day? We've, <laughs> <laughs> these fat fucks. We, the thing is, we've become so fat as a country, we've had to drink out of hamster bottles <laughs> right. that we carry with us. Dude, this is. I got to move this. I got a new monitor here, and I can't see the audio. Yeah. Yeah, we really need to. We oh need yeah, to hear new how, monitor, a little TCL. Yeah, uh, watch, fucking watch. So this. y'all loved when I did my hydration station tour. So let's go. Shut eat. up. I'm making a <laughs> peach and water. Shut the fuck up, you white woman I'm twister. Out with a sunkissed peach packet, <laughs> and then fuck I'm you. three pumps of cherry. Peach I feel like all of have some kind of vanilla aspects. So I know I that's like what you put in like drinks, right? That's what you make it cherry temples with. Italian sodas. Look at that fat bitch. Oh my god, fuck you and your fucking swollen uterus. Devin, please. It's her high. Did you not hear? It's her hydration station. So y'all loved when mm-hmm. I did my hydration station look, look, tour. Yeah. So let's oh go. Oh my god. She's making I'm white making lean right, right now. She's gonna listen to like DJ Screw after this. <laughs> and then I'm doing Dude, like literally. Why are you that strawberry? Yeah, that's pineapple, coconut, p- putting it in blueberry. Straight, putting it in straight water. By the way, not even soda water. N- straight water is that's insane. Fucked up. Yeah. It's like you're not you're never getting hydrated because you're putting in so much shit. It's dehydrating. Yeah, no, it's meaningless as you drink it. These people are taking like a blowtorch to a gummy bear and a little petri dish, mm-hmm. and then like mixing it like a dab, and then yeah. pouring it into their water. Yeah, no, the Stanley Cup thing really proves that like w- women, if they don't uh, get married, they turn into like female incels. And they have to yep. like get little gummy bear toppers for their stand. I love putting this in their stand. Like like she's going like hiking. Yeah. And she goes. I need my need my strawberry syrup mm-hmm. kept fresh in my Stanley cup. Mm-hmm. This is the only way she would actually live, though. Weirdly enough, no. she would actually die if she had to just. Drink she's water like she's straight. she's feeding her fibroids. <laughs> I fucking hate all these people. This is well. Th- what's pissing me off too is most American people, and I've I've met people recently that they're basically walking all around all day drinking from a big coconut with an umbrella. <laughs> I'm like, you can't. Yeah. For the love of God, here's once yeah. you're once you're in your thirties. Here's what it actually is. Here are your four options. Milk, coffee, beer, water. Yes, that's mm-hmm. it. But that's everyone it. likes to think they're in like Mar- Margaritaville. <laughs> These it's, fuck- it's always people that don't yeah. drink too. By the way, yes. con- they make mocktails at seven a.m. Yes, I'm like actually just take a shot of tequila. Yeah, do cocaine. It's healthier. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's do healthier. do hard drugs. Do meth. Do PCP. Do yeah. crack. No, they don't even drink. They're just drinking all the sugar that comes in a drink, and they don't even have any of the fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're doing what Mormons do. Yeah, when they're trying to go like buck wild. Yeah, they're soaking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Can we see the end of this? Because I really hate yeah. this bad bitch. Yeah. Three pumps of cherry. I feel like all gummies. Wait, wait, I actually want to know her recipe real quick. Yeah. Let's see what she does. Lauren. We're starting out with a sunkissed peach packet, Ugh. and then I'm doing three pumps of cherry. I feel like all gummies have some kind of vanilla aspect, so I added one and a half pumps of vanilla almond. Jesus. Overall, this water. A little bit of water. A like- mm-hmm. little bit of that water stuff. That's a Starbucks drink. That's a two pumps, uh, three pumps of cherry, pump and a half of vanilla. A sun-kissed peach packet? Dude, what I the don't, fuck is that? I genuinely don't understand what's going on with the Stanley Thermos thing because it's like it's like Americans cosplaying as hydrated. Mm-hmm. My mom it's sent like me one. They go to Comic Con and they they like they're like furries for pretending they drink water. No one's drinking water. Look yeah. at this bitch. I'm the only one that drank water from one of these. Usually, it's always water. Yeah, but I, and I still don't get it. No, I, Why I don't you just sent, have a glass of water? I don't get it. I got sent Why'd this? you need the thermos? Because it's big as shit. It's f- cool, kind of. It's fun. I guess. It's I, a big straw. I take it to the golf course. You Okay, you go. Yeah, you have a life I, somewhat, I guess, mildly. Yeah, Ben also has a child, so he's <laughs> he's devoid of this criticism. This <laughs> yeah. is for... You're allowed. Yeah, but this, this, was, for, this was sent to me. This is for women who have uh, used a cat to replace the one thing that would have given them hey, meaning. Hey, by the way, yeah. someone find our P.O. box and send Devin a Stanley Cup. <laughs> send him a Stanley Cup and he'll actually find out that they actually kind of kick ass no. and Jason knows what I'm talking about they kind of roll that, I mean I mom sent me one I threw it out I threw it in the garbage <laughs> yeah I do. I do I have a I have a ba- I have a bad habit of I have a bad habit of getting <laughs> you just threw it right 
Right. Yeah, you I see your hundred dollar cup and yeah. then you threw it in. Yeah, a it. cup that people are like bludgeoning each yeah. other over right now. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. People are camping in Target overnight to get the pink Starbucks. Oh, one. I'm sure there's a white woman in, in a in a trash dump right now finding my old Stanley like a bloodhound. <laughs> just sniffing around until she can get metal water that's poisoning her uterus. Yeah, is it is it good for you? Like is is there metal in it and stuff? I don't know. I mean that I don't who knows. Because like our water filter's been broken for like a year and a half and like the place that like we get the filters from just like I think they just like left the country and they like won't get back to me about the filters. So we've just been drinking bottled water for like we, we I live like I'm in Flint. Like right. it's all bottled water all the time. And I keep wondering, I'm like, am I is there plastic? Is it yeah, horrible? That's bad. Is yeah, it that's really, really bad? bad. Yeah, I think it like, I think it kills your sperm count, which is actually probably good well, for you and me. Yeah, yeah, you know, good, we want to be shooting blanks. Yeah. The so. three things I'd stay away from are probably Probably smoking cigarettes, drinking Diet Coke, and drinking bottled you water. You really think bottled water is as bad yeah. as those first two things? Yeah. I think like all studies say like the most cancerous thing there is is like a water bottle that got left in the sun for a little bit too long. And yeah, like, but it, I... Th- sincerely? Really? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You there's look also, at studies of that. There's also... Do you know there's... The pla- cheap plastic. You know, there's plastic in clouds now, so I don't know if we're avoiding plastic. They just honestly. found uh, microplastics hmm. in blood for the first time. Yeah, it's made it into our bloodstream. It's beautiful. We are really turning into like just like hmm. made in China toys. Right. <laughs> we're turning into Toy Story slowly. Well, I gotta contact that goddamn filter company. <laughs> By the way, women this fat does. First of all, how do they get their jeans on? Too does the fat start at their tits? No, because this woman she has uh, she has a uh, micro tits, even though she's very uh, overweight. I mean, she's, she's, a bummer. she's like a snowman. She looks like a snowman. <laughs> yeah, <she really> does. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like there, like there kids is, made there, her. There is a fat woman thing where you start dressing like an insect, where you have sections like a millipede. Yeah, yeah. But see, does the fat start here, and then she just makes it do that, or does it? If she take her shirt and jeans off, would it look like that? No, no, no. That's that's caused because she has the tight pants on and she's like buckling it. It's like she's shooting heroin into her uh, <laughs> belly button. But how does she how does she put those jeans on? That looks so hard. Yeah, it's it's very extremely difficult. Yeah. Like, yeah. does she need her roommates to help? She her calls put, get like dressed? yeah. There's like a moving team that comes out. <laughs> and they <laughs> they yeah, latch has, on with like they, bungee cords. Yeah, they put her on slides. Yeah. <laughs> the machine, the thing, the, the whale uses to get around his apartment. She has that <laughs> for getting in those jeans. This yeah. snow cone made me think about my own life. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I want to see what the end of this is. Oh, man. Overall, this water was really good, so like 7 out of 10. I just hate the like weird, this like satisfaction in doing things mm-hmm. that are bad for you. Well, I think I think it's also that the thing that really pisses you off is her being like, here's my wellness technique. Like, it would be better if she was putting crack cocaine on a metal spoon and heating it up and smoking it. Right. You're like, you're like, at least that is honest. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, here's me smoking crack cocaine and putting my baby in an oven. It's a clean, <laughs> it's a clean life. It's because a clean. this is a lie. This is a lie. Yeah. This is a fucking this lie. This woman, if she walks past a mirror, she punches it. So all the, <laughs> the glass falls out. You know what this is? This is Jace. This is someone going like smoking a bowl of crack and going, Oh, you guys, you guys don't smoke crack. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go over to my crack station, I guess. The, yeah. the amount of therapy this woman has to do to live the lie that she's doing <laughs> is insane. Like once a day, she has to have a therapist. be like, And here's the thing. If you're just like a fat lady, just be like, yeah, I'm a fat lady and I like to eat chili right. dogs. You know, <laughs> like that's this I'll, is my chili. Station. Yeah, I'll still hate you, but it's because I hate women deeply in my soul. <laughs> She has a stand set up for all of her uh, Tarani syrups. That's what I'm saying. Is she, you know, I am a brave man. I will go to a wiener schnitzel and I will eat it in my car. And I know that's sad and I'm embracing it. Right. She has to be, buy $400 worth of merchandise, set it up cute in her apartment so she cannot face yeah. the reality of like, oh, no, I have a binge eating addiction and I've I've ruined my life. She's got a... And I get mad that nobody wants to fuck me even though I don't want to also fuck fat people. Yeah. In this weird, <laughs> this weird like double standard you never admit to yourself. Right. Yeah. Yeah, she, she's got a in-home coffee shop, but it's yes. all, nothing. But it's all the un, most unhealthy things behind the counter, at, like at a coffee shop. Yes. Ver, versus, I've I've seen a different version of this lady where it's the same size lady. It was that like Midwest mom where she's like, she went viral on TikTok because she's like, I'm gonna teach you how to make tater tot casserole. 
And she's just big, fat, you know, she, huge bitch. Did she have that weird, rude affectation too? Did she have that weird, rude affectation? But at least she was like, "I'm a fat dis- I was I shit yeah. four fat kids out of my disgusting pussy, mm-hmm. and I make tater tot casserole for my fat husband who works as an electrician until he dies of a heart attack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm honest about it. That's who I am. Right. We're corn fed retards. Corn fed retards. A nice American corn fed retard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ben, let me ask you this though: Isn't your straw plastic in that Stanley Cup? Ooh. Ben. It is. Checkmate. Ben. Okay, so then what are we talking about here? Well, so so here's the interesting thing too, like, cause they go, you can't get around it even with babies, right? Because when a baby's born, they hook it up to shit. And in those little uh tubes, uh the microplastics uh, get in, so it's like it's over immediately. Do we know that people it, it is plastic bad or is it just a, is it just a, a weird thing? Like is it has it been linked to cancer yeah, officially? Yeah. That so the only credible person that I know recently that's real that uh, I thought was really good on Rogan, mm-hmm. uh, Eddie Bravo was uh, and and Anna Hashin ag- agreed with her because uh, uh, I talked with Anna about this too because she was interested in it because of her baby. Uh huh. Sure. Is the the uh, the fucking the the the, the strip clip. between your pussy and your ass? The, uh, the oh the, gooch? yeah the gooch yeah yeah. yeah. Yeah, they say if like that's like far like close. I'm trying to remember the terms now, but it's like phthalates, I think was the term. And if you if you're like smoke if you smoke cigarettes, uh, w- 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 you pass it down to your baby, or like you drink, you have microplastics and stuff. It increases your phthalates level or something like that. And then in women, the <clears throat> the strip between your pussy and your asshole uh, grows longer, and mm. with men, it gets closer. Hmm. And it what that's doing for some reason is it's making your genders the same, hmm. and that's what the whole turning the frogs gay thing is loosely, basically. Okay. So microplastics are fucking up people's shit. They're fucking up their pussies and their dicks and stuff, and making us gay and trans. Yeah, and I know and so- I think there's probably stuff in the water that makes people more gay and trans. I'd bet mm-hmm. if you put a gun to my head, I would. That's what my intuition. Yeah, Tell that like yeah. cutting like plastic. Billy Porter's dumping it into our water yeah. supply I like think, a Batman villain. Hey, we need some explanation for the this fucking mass, you know. Well, I think if we amount s- of fags, literally, right <laughs> <laughs> I think if we sucked out the Great Pacific Garbage Patch from the ocean, like if mm-hmm. we figured out and shot it into space. I think like there'd be four gay people. Yeah, we'd all start dressing like right. Matt. We'd all start dressing like Don Draper again. <laughs> yeah. and we'd be like, we actually we've decided that white people are the best. <laughs> <laughs> we decided that we should make most of the movies because they're better that way. <laughs> yeah, all right, sure. I guess I don't know if that's your evidence. I mean, it's like no, I, th- I think that's a. Th- there's a lady that went on Rogan know, and she I had a thing. Her, I'm the, too the, fucking yeah, dumb to remember her. what the, it is. Yeah, the Gooch lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she talks okay. about the taints and stuff. And uh, isn't that already kind of silly to start with, though? You're a scientist and you're like, listen, yeah. you know, I, uh, the biggest evidence of plastic hurting people is that they, you know, they're they. They can't take balls in their ass anymore. <laughs> like, what are we? Yeah, what, the gooch. The thing that weirds me out about it is I don't trust a group of people that they're like, well, what we did is we took 500 babies and we measured the distance between their asshole and their pussy. I'm like, I'm already out. Yeah, who has that <laughs> Fuck off. How retard. is that a legal job? <laughs> I don't know, man. How does that guy not get arrested? That's what I'm, it's, uh, you're fucking weird and I don't care if you think it's for the betterment of like humanity. That's like Roger Fuck Daltrey off. being caught with child porn. He's like, no, I'm just trying to figure out about the microplastics yeah, get, and their gooches. <laughs> no, get that ruler away from my daughter's pussy, you pervert. Yes. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you want to yell at him, you go, let her die of cancer. <laughs> Shut up. We're not looking into this, you freak. You're testing their assholes. Yeah. Drawing a line for, for a pussy on the wall and measuring it every year. Like a height chart. Yeah, like her height. It's next to the fridge. Got everybody's name on it. it Who's got the widest You can tank? look at that atrazine thing in the water, though, uh, uh, with turning the frogs gay. The chemicals that are no, getting in the water that. supply are actually making yeah. frogs trans. Alex, Alex Jones was actually right about that. There's there's uh, stuff that's making waters uh, hermaphrodite. And th- there's a thing with frogs where they, they uh, there's some types of frogs where when they're born, they, they're all male or all female that year based on the temperature in the water. And as it gets hotter, th- those frogs are going to start producing like all females over and over again. And then just like all the frogs are going to die, mm. basically. Chappelle's whole next special is about frogs. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, listen, y'all, I don't want to fuck a frog. He goes, Yo, don't get that frog community angry. I don't want to fuck a frog. I'm just going to do five hours of comedy about it because I don't want to fuck trans people. 
Yeah. Was yeah. his new special good? I didn't, I didn't watch it. Uh, it was better than the last one, yeah. which I thought was the worst thing he ever did. But yeah. it still was like, it still just kind of feels like he, he's like too good at public speaking at this point mm-hmm. that he's just talking and he's occasionally like a, it's funny and he's calling it a comedy Yeah, he's special. like Obama recently where he's not even really trying anymore. Yeah, yeah. it's... It's fine. I mean, it made me laugh a few times, but it still is like you're like you see some stuff coming from far away and it's it is, you know, there's trans jokes and mm-hmm. weird amount of like talking about cheating on his wife and stuff like that. But it, it was I don't know. He did he did a few he did a bunch of like handicap jokes that really killed me. OK, well, I like that. That was very funny. that I'm very a big fan of. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Who do you who do you really take it to? I mean, yeah. Uh, who do you really give it the business to all people that uh, that are, have a lot more problems in life <laughs> than dealing with his jokes like every white guy I uh, I put a stand up special on TV and I, I get three inches away from the television I go get him <laughs> get him yeah get him get those faggots get the midgets too fuck them <laughs> It's so funny because we don't even care. It's just because everything got so gay mm-hmm. that now it's like a pressure valve where we're just like, yeah, I forgot about fucking trans midgets. I forgot they even were a thing. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah. And then you look at the crowd at his specials and it's like 85 Dallas Cowboys fans. Yeah. Like Cholo Cowboys Everyone fans. Everyone in Dave Chappelle's crowd looks like Emmett Smith, <laughs> <laughs> including the women. <laughs> Yeah, they just go like, yeah, they tell them faggots to kill themselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah shit, <laughs> man. I hate, I hate gay people. I make one dollar an hour. I hate gay people. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, unfortunately, I have met people that they go, I love Dave Chappelle because I'm anti-trans. Yeah, and I'm like, that's the wrong oh, really? reason at all to like. Yeah, people. if you told him that, I wonder what he, how he would think about it. Uh, he, I mean, he'd probably. He wouldn't care. But. He'd be like, "I'm rich. Yeah. Uh, why am I talking to you? Get the fuck away from me! <laughs> yeah, was, Get the fuck away from me, you bug!" It's just yeah. you're not supposed to call yourself a goat. Yeah. You know. I think if, a- I think if anybody if, if like I was hanging out with Chappelle if I if you allowed me to talk for like ten seconds I would immediately see Chappelle's sh- the bottom of his shoe yeah. and oh. it would start doing Slowly this pushing to pushing my- you yeah. out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a, a black be like, there was a lady on Rogan and the pussy, and they measured it. He's like, right, right, yeah, yeah. right. And then, and then on yeah, his, you're gay. <laughs> yeah. And then on his next special, he's like, on his next special, he's like, I was at the comedy store. This Chinese honky <laughs> tried to talk to my ass. So one of my favorite things I ever saw in stand up live was Chappelle dropped in at the comedy store at like two in the morning. Mm-hmm. And he was really, really drunk. And he uh, he had the guy on the piano uh, start doing I Will Survive. Right. But uh, Chappelle, Dave was so drunk, and he could just go, kept going, uh, ching chong, bing bong. <laughs> ching chong, bing bong. 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 And he did the whole thing. And like everybody was like pissing themselves, like slamming on the yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh man, comedy's so simple. Yeah, it, really, it can be so simple. It really is that simple, Dude, honestly. I am making oh, shit. Whoa, what the hell? Shut up, bitch. By- Jesus, we talked about a black guy so much. The white ladies, <laughs> that white yeah. lady started playing. Well, especially when you watch Chappelle on stage and he's drunk and he's free and he's like actually telling jokes. Like, yeah, because this was like 2017, right? Like mm-hmm. back then, he really is like Bugs Bunny. Mm-hmm. He's jumping yeah. around and like hopping and like yeah, making the, all these funny faces. The, the and thing noises. that just annoys annoys me is is you know like he's doing you know he has 12 netflix specials and he's like acting like you know he's acting like he's being nailed to a cross and it's like you may you make uh two million dollars a show yeah. well that's you know? i think what I mean, everyone's I, frustrated with is how many comedians take themselves so seriously so seriously now. exactly it's, so, it's what they do is so serious mm-hmm. yeah i mean the last there's like a 20 minute bit at the end where he tells us it's 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 called the dreamer and mm-hmm. it's like this whole thing like i'm a dreamer like i bet on myself and it came you know and 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 he's but it's not really it doesn't really feel like he believes anyone else could do it too. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it just comes off kind of odd. You're just kind of talking about how you're amazing, uh-huh. mm-hmm. you know. But he is he is probably he is the best stand up of all time to me. Probably he's, he's up there in probably, terms of yeah. prolificness. But it's 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 it is getting. You have to look away from how how mm-hmm. repetitive it's becoming. Yeah, yeah, and I'll how look- self important. Cat yeah, yeah, specials yeah. are really good, by the way. Like Cat's each amazing. special is really good that he puts out. Cat's amazing. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. 
Yeah. Talks about Jacksonville a little too much, but other than that, he's he did great. do like twenty minutes on Jacksonville on his last special. But that was it was still he's still great. I mean that 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 was a stand up special was his the club Shay Shay thing. Oh, him talking about Rogan yeah. and uh, him going everything. off. Yeah, yeah. One of the last guys that talks the way people do if there's no mic in front of them. Like he actually talks unfiltered, like how ONA and all those guys did back in the two thousands. Yeah, and that that's dead now. That's yeah. dead. I know people that know him and work for him, and he is awesome. He's I've, he's I've very heard that as generous, well, that he pays amazing. very yeah. well. Yeah, really. Yeah, my favorite my favorite thing, and I and I love Cat. I also love that he's. You have to admit that he's severely mentally ill, and uh, yeah, he gets in like weird fights with like monkeys at the zoo. And no, stuff. Like, yeah, literally and, like, like toddlers. It's always, and stuff. it's always a monkey at the zoo. With and you. those were teenagers. <laughs> he's, he, no, I let he compared a Chinese guy to a bug at the beginning of this episode. And I that's let that slide. Ben, no, ben, you said no, it, it has You called him an insect. That ben. had nothing to do with him being Chinese. Yeah. That was the quality of his comedy and his. That his, was the his, content his, of his character. Oh, you're saying it's his mind. That was his humanity. Yeah. <laughs> I was, his, the, his soul is a bug. Yeah. <laughs> he, he could just as easily be a white guy. He's mm-hmm. a bug. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You said insect, which it's like, yeah. right. no, that's your thinking. You're yeah. outing yourself. Also, <laughs> yeah. I didn't think I didn't think of his race at all. Yeah. Also, Dev is making fun of Chinese people, which you can go a thousand miles further than black people. Right. Chinese people, we can almost nuke them again. Yeah. <laughs> that's how much people don't care. Exactly. And yeah. Be like, Thank you so much. They'd be like, Thank you so much. Please. Uh, uh, we apologize for joking, Booster. <laughs> We apologize for Bo Yen. There's always, there, I'm sure those guys aren't Chinese. They're like Korean or Japanese. Uh, we just have one voice for all the Asian I mean, the people. media that pretends to care about them mixes them up all the time. Yeah, yeah. it's true. They even made that article Jace pointed out where they were like yeah. mixing Why them up. Why are we not supposed to be upset at Chinese people? Like, they fuck COVID did. Yeah, COVID, it was, they did create COVID. What the hell? Yeah. Like, why are we crazy for that? Dude, I was, I, was, I was playing golf like three weeks ago, and I got paired with these three older Asian is and I was just loudly to my friends. I was like, I mean, it was a fucking bio weapon. Let's be honest. It was a lab leak, and they were over in the green. They're just like, oh yeah, yeah, they're just nodding. At everything they, they, we they said. take a seven iron and stab it yeah. to their belly. <laughs> they go, we are so sorry. I'd imagine they would like if we say it's a bio weapon, right? Yeah, it takes more. It takes pressure. Makes them cool. It makes, it's like, oh, it wasn't because we're savages that eat like, yeah. bat soup. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. A, a Chinese guy fucked a pangolin. Yeah. It and wasn't because then... I had the you know, diarrhea, fucking wontons, and then started COVID. <laughs> no, it's because I'm evil. Yeah, but I'm I, I'm smart. And yeah. you guys been around a fucking bat, by the way. I hate them. I hate bats with all my heart. They're my fucking least disgusting snakes and bats. I hope oh. I want to I want to eradicate the world. Done with them. I hate them so hate much. Them. I hate them. Hate I know. I hate anything like an Indian guy like would like l- let land on his arm. <laughs> oh, the way white people have falconry. Indian, guys, <laughs> like, like, in, in, in Indian Jeremiah Johnson. He's like, oh, come here, flying cobra. Hey, right here. <laughs> it is a snake that flies. Snake <laughs> flapping wings. Uh. <laughs> hey, guys, if you've got some extra holiday cash on your hands, don't blow it all on Taco Bell or Burger King. Make your money count with HelloFresh. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. They send pre-portioned ingredients with awesome recipes straight to your door. Everything is delicious, and it's so much cheaper than takeout. With over 45 recipes to choose from every week, as well as seasonal add-on items, mealtimes just got way more fun. Um, We use uh, HelloFresh. They sent us several boxes. I love it. Uh, Devin made a delicious... Uh, pork taco that was great i it was too lazy to make the recipe but i just used the the meat and the veggies to make my own uh, little stir fry and it was great um hello fresh even has 10 minute lunches for those busy days and breakfast you can quickly throw together in the mornings since breakfast is the most important meal of the day hello fresh is giving all subscribers free breakfast for life with every single hello fresh delivery Go to HelloFresh.com slash LemonFree and use code LemonFree for free be- breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash LemonFree with code LemonFree. Thank you, HelloFresh, and back to the podcast. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> I had the dumbest thought the other night. I was I was uh, 
I was a little drunk, and I was thinking of uh, because we do a lot of Indian jokes here. Sure, you know. Uh, I mean, it's it's it, the, it, the people love it. it got in my mind. <laughs> it, 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 all of a sudden, Indian jokes are in my brain. Sure, sure. And I was thinking of in, an Indian guy doing a Ron Burgundy impression. <laughs> he's like, he's like, rape, rape, rape. I love rape. <laughs> <laughs> I go down, down into a bougie. <laughs> Oh, That's very good, Devin. That's There's so good. many Indian people, though. I don't feel like other Indian people that listen to the show are offended because they're like, yeah, there's, there's like billions of us. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't feel like Indian people are like care about Indian jokes in a weird way. No, because Th- there's so many of them. Yeah, they're because yeah. e- they're either have their own Netflix show or they are yeah shitting in a street and getting raped. <laughs> Well, Sorry. They also believe. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. The, so here's kind of the beautiful thing about if, and Jace, if I may compliment them, actually. Sure, sure. The beautiful thing about Indian people is they do view the world as a, ca- a caste system. Right. So they see themselves here, and then white people are like, "Oh, you're stinky or whatever," right? And then they go, they're looking up. They're like, "Yeah, you're up there. You, we do suck, right?" Mm-hmm. And then they take like we shit on them, and then they turn around and they start uh, calling black people the n word. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean, because right. so, they see it as this staircase that they're on. Right, right. Do they think if they die, they'll come and they were good, they'll come back as a white person? Like they'll go, they'll <laughs> move re- up. reincarnation. <laughs> yeah. They'll come back as a guy named Doug who yeah. just says it. They and- come back as Dan Bilzerian. <laughs> <laughs> My personal hero, Dan Mazarian. I mean, why do you think they worship the Bodhi tree? Man, let's be real here. For a what second. is that tree? Don't don't say things like that all casually. <laughs> like, <laughs> like we're in a bar. Yeah, like, we get We're it. just a bunch of guys. And oh yes, of course, the Bodhi yeah, tree. You don't see Devin dropping like Nick Van Exel <laughs> stats from yeah, 1994. I stay out. I I you know I stay in my lane. I'm all not right. like bringing up all NBA right. players all the time and expecting you to pretend. Well, I guess the Bodhi tree it's like Buddhist or whatever, right? But isn't it also Hindu? A bunch of, a bunch of stuff shit. Too? I don't know. I watched that Wheel of Time documentary by Werner Herzog, and I was like, man. I was like, Buddhist people are crazy, and they got to the end. He's like, and so that's the that's the whole documentary about the Hindu people. And I was like, oh shit, this is a whole other. Like, I was basically watching a documentary about Japan, and I was like, man, China's fucking nuts, huh? <laughs> like, learning absolutely yeah. nothing. You're like, we dropped the nuke on Shanghai. My God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I think is the is the Bodhi tree the one that the Buddha set under? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But see, what I always get confused about is there's like there's like Buddhist people. I think also in India, like they I don't know if they really. I think they're mostly Hindu. But like, but here's the thing: Buddhism is like based on Hinduism. Hinduism came first. I, genu- so I don't like know what's going on. I genu- over there. It's I know, so incestual. I know this is a racist belief. This is very dismissive. But I genuinely believe if you asked a, if uh, an Indian guy, he'd be like, "We don't know. It's made up. <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't know. It's a gobble." <laughs> I remember because I got really into Buddhism and I was like reading a lot about the Buddha and stuff and they kind of hide because, you know, like, you you know, your Christian church, you're like, well, this is all bullshit and made up, you know, like there wasn't a guy who killed a giant with a slingshot. And then you're like Buddha. It's like, you know, they're like Buddha's decided that wealth is bad and it's good to be present. And you're like, oh, this is great. Eastern religions are a little more like vague. Yeah. But you go far enough. It's like Scientology. (laughs) You go deep enough, you re, you you literally get to the Thedon level, mm-hmm. and then and then I was watching a documentary. Mm-hmm. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm fanning myself yeah. like a mm-hmm. honey child. I see the racist turn coming, speak, child. Speak, speak, preach. Oh, racist days. <laughs> yeah, wait in the crime stats. God. <laughs> Man, that's both very knowledgeable and racist at yeah. the same time. But, but if you if you watch, I was I was like two months into just like read about Buddhism all the time. I was watching a documentary and it was like an hour into the doc, and they were like, and so Buddha sat under this tree and he realized that there's like you know what uh, suffering is, you know the present moment, all this type of stuff. And I'm like, ah, oh, cool. And then they go, and then the 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 big dragon flew out of the earth um, that represents all evil in the world, and like the seven monkeys with knives showed up and there was a thousand scorpions and Buddha fought them all off with like magical powers. And you're like, Oh, this is fucking gains 
stupid too. Yeah, right. I, they just don't tell me the gay and stupid thing because they bring mm. my knowledge of Buddhism is they bring a, a crippled old monk to a TED talk, right? And he's just like try not to try not to be so horny all the time. And also, then you're like, that's great, that's brilliant. Also, mm. it's it's it, uh, Westernized people, I guess, like I don't know, majority white, whatever Americans, we find all that stuff very like mysterious, and we yes. lo- we love like very, it's it's very. I don't know. We 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 just it's 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 masturbatory to us. Yeah. We we're very like oh it's so much it's so interesting and I, you know it's it's like the native it's a it's it's like white women in Santa Fe. Yeah. Like think Native Americans the, have ooh. magical powers. Yeah. The, and the, shit. Yeah. They think yeah. they can fuck rocks because yeah. of Native Americans. Exactly. We just like love that shit. I was at the farmers market in Alhambra today. There was there was uh, ten Buddhist monks walking down the farmers market road, and they were they were hitting that little bowl that vibrates the bung. And people were giving them money, and in my head, I was like, "Oh, that's really cool." And then I was like, "And then I was, I was like, wait, wait, no, that's fucking gay and retarded that you're in like this weird cult and like, yeah, no, it sucks. It if sucks I, ass. Yeah, if I saw like Mormons walking around, you know, like fucking banging at Coke Zero or something, it's retarded. Like, yeah, I'd be like, you're retarded. It's watching should- a mentally ill man that like cares about the Power Rangers too much. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it, I don't care just because he's Asian and like eats soup and like right. he holds up, he drinks the soup with his like he holds it with his hands and he doesn't have a spoon, so mm-hmm. we go, oh, wow. Right. He's a really, yeah, like, he's, he's really holy, and he like understands yeah. more than we do. You're like, oh, he's he's 90 pounds. And he wears pedophile glasses and a diaper. <laughs> yeah, it's. Fun. But I think that's deep. And then we and we're just so so jaded with like Christianity in this country. So we're like, oh, what, what, why is that any different than like an annoying like Southern pastor? Yeah. It's the it's the exact same. It's thing, the same. My point. See, this yeah. would all be fixed if you guys weren't pushed away from like Christianity and stuff by like our country, which is like racist against like white people and stuff. Like you guys are like racist against. White there is people. a big problem in this country, and then so people shed they they shed their Christianity coat, and then they go, oh, but like th- why is that guy banging on a bowl with a like a tuning fork, and like he's not wearing <laughs> underwear? I don't like that either. And then you look back, and then. Uh, this is another thing, by the way. I talked to my, I was talking to my friend about on the phone yeah. uh, this week. Catholicism's like, it's like Satanism, right? It's like satanic shit. Like the, I don't the, know the what's... chanting, the beads, the worshiping a man with a big hat. Oh, the whole thing. Yeah. It's same feel, amount of pedophilia, basically. Sure, it feels sacrilegious. Well, yeah, that's You're, why they all fuck kids. It's the the chanting. It's the, the eyes wide oh, shut. Yeah, they all yeah, have hoods yeah. on. Blah, 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 blah. It's a, yeah. There's something about doing those noises that like it revs you up to fuck a child. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like starting your engine in the in like the winter. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There's also something about like yeah, God wanted me to dress like a like a pimp in the 1400s, you know, and like wave this big ball of incense around. Like yeah, that seems a little. Well, also the worst people you know are getting into Catholicism. Yeah, it's like what is attracting you guys? That is to interesting. This? What is there? What's the pedophilia rate in uh, Christian churches? It's I nowhere it's, near as high as Catholicism. No, of course not. But yeah. Catholicism is the most popular religion besides I th- Islam, I right? think, I think is, per, it's Catholicism is like 72% of Christianity, I believe. I think per, was. per capita, there's the same amount of molestation happening in the Catholic Church as in, as in the Christian Church? As in the a, a Protestant Church. I don't know. I've been crunching the numbers. Yeah. And I think they're doing a lot more than molestation. They go, listen, I was molested at a Christian church. but I think, I think the molestation has got to be way higher in the Catholic Church because of the celibacy. Mm. Again, I think you're being racist against whites. Frankly, I think I think it's I think it is worse because you're getting molested by an old guy who's dressed like Batman for some reason <laughs> in the Catholic Church. You're getting molested by Philip Seymour Hoffman. And he's wearing a big tic tac. Is his there not collar. celibacy in the uh, Christian celibacy until marriage? But no, they can fuck. But Catholic. <clears throat> Preachers or Catholic, Catholic priests cannot have priests sex. can, but Christians can. Christian, like a, pro- a Protestant, like a minister, he can like have a family and kids. He can come inside of his wife. He can get blowjobs from her. He can get jacked off. He can do it all. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, he can fuck her in the ass. He can do all that type he of can, stuff. He can fuck her in the ass. He can. Uh, wow. yeah. They can do dildos. Mm-hmm. I think double sided dildos. They can fuck are, each there, other. Is there like a list they give you? Or <laughs> yeah. like, dildos. Would are When you allowed. join the church, yeah. they hand you a list of all. The you know that would you be an do. interesting thing. Like walking up to a preach uh, priest, like uh, at our old church, it'll. The Mulane Church of Christ, which you can look up and uh, review bomb on Yelp or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but if you walked up to a priest and you uh, and you like, you're like <laughs> review bomb. <laughs> Your old don't church. do that! Don't do that! Don't do that, please! No, don't do that! No, actually, don't, don't do, do that. that. Our our parents will get phone calls. 
We might have to edit that out, actually. <laughs> it's fine. I trust them. They won't do it. Just don't do yeah, it. Yeah, don't actually don't do it, please. I don't want to edit it out. I have the kid now. I don't. Ben's I don't want busy. time to bleep it. And listen, if you do it, we're gonna say less stuff like that in the future. You guys That's are funny. on the hook for whatever the fuck you say for now on. Yeah, by the way, on this podcast, I'm not editing out shit. All right, those fine. days are over. I got a I got a mouth to feed wow. over there. All right, all right. Mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, you're busy. Hey, yeah, don't let them hear that. <laughs> Ben's bu- gotten lazy. <laughs> I I would like to. <laughs> They're upset you're not bleeping things. They're like Ben should have bleeped a lot. Some guys <laughs> trying to. Some people are trying to start a rumor that like I'm gonna leave Lemon Party now that I've had a kid. I'm like, how would I have? I'm I'm like month to month. Like, how am I gonna make yeah. like, any money? The only thing that you make money from, yeah. Like, Here's what? the thing: we could say anything, and then they'll run with it. Oh, that's true. So yeah. next week, come up with some funny fake lie, you know, and and then they'll run with it. I mean, they might be listening to the show right now, not knowing the bit I'm doing on Twitter is a joke, and they think I'm like a lib cock. Yeah, yeah. you should. If anything, you should go. To, you should make some little fake GoFundMe's or something. You know, say your baby has like a big watermelon head or something. What, you need to get it like depressurized. What is stopping me from lying? I don't know. I think being uh, raised Christian and traumatized. Damn. Did Emma fart? What's what do you? She's been farting the whole episode. It's she's disgusting. been farting for attention. Ugh. She's getting no attention because of the baby. So. Oh, then you shove your ass <laughs> in my face, you bitch! Get out of here, Emma. No one loves you now. We're done with you. We have a kid. Emma, no Good one loves job. you. We're gonna put you on eBay for the highest lemon party. Better. <laughs> You're still very cute. Yeah, we love you. Man. Sorry, to, what were you sorry, Jace. What were you saying oh, about uh, no, so the, the bro- church? The brilliant bit I was starting was I would I would like to walk up to one of those preachers from our old church and be like, be like, so I'm married. I have my wife. Can my wife? Can we put a, take a dildo and shove it up my ass and then shove it up our ass and then fuck each other's assholes back to back? Like, is that Christian? Maybe he does this. He leans back in his chair and goes. Pray with me. <laughs> yeah, you're in front of the you're in front of the congregation. You're like, Lord, we just uh, God bends heart so he can know, <laughs> and we know where God is silent. We are also. We are also silent, and but there it, is nothing in your good word that says anything about a double sided dildo, Lord. The, Paul never said anything about getting edged in the asshole by your wife, Lord, and we just pray that. You and he never God. said anything about tantric sex, neither. Yeah, you just go into Ben's heart while he's gooning next time, and you just let him know if he can get fucked in the ass by his <laughs> wife or not. If that's Christian Lord, just let him know, Lord. We pray that. Anyway, yeah. I, I'm I'm a pedophile. Anyway, I'm a pedophile. I'm dating an 11 year old girl. <laughs> anyway, 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 I'm a pedophile. I'm a pedophile and by today's standards, but by history standards, I'm just happily married. Lord, I've been <laughs> fucking a 12 year old girl at the church for six years, and then one day I'm gonna, it's gonna come forward, and the church is gonna blame her, Lord, and kick her out of church, Lord. I just pray that. Uh, she kills herself before she comes forward, Lord. And I if just... she doesn't, I and if, it, my, if my lie is exposed, I will I will paint the baptism wall behind me red, Lord. I I have a forty four magnum on my on my hip, Lord, and I will blow my brains out, Lord. Bud Dwyer style, Lord, Lord. Lord, and if I don't turn that baptism pit into a Kool Aid pitcher, <laughs> Lord, I pray you guide my heart that I can manipulate my wife that this is her fault for not fucking me in the ass, Lord, the way I asked her to. And I can manipulate her. I can gaslight her, Lord. Just got her heart to be manipulated, God. Uh, we would we would have that sometimes. I think we, we might have talked about this, but we would have like old guys come forward at church on Sunday, and they'd be like, "I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, I've been gooning basically. Sure. Yeah. Gooning. <laughs> I'm I'm gooning. I've been gooning. I get five monitors up, and I watch all types of put." put Trans pornography, Lord. I have projectors and iPads and iPhones and, and every type of screen you could imagine in the garage, Lord. And I balance them all on a bunch of old tires, Lord. Uh, Lord, I have the screen from Minority Report and I watch pornography on it. And little balls come out and show me Chinese people getting fucked on it, Lord. And they'd say that in front of like their community. They yeah, would say that, right? Yeah. And then after he's like, "Hey, yeah," he's like. Hey. Hell of, hell of a sermon, huh? Yeah, hell like, of a sermon. Like, get the fuck <laughs> yeah, away hell of a me. sermon. That guy wanted to fuck a bunch of babies or something, right? Came forward about that? <laughs> oh, the guy that comes forward to confess. Yeah, he's confessed. That he fucked his baby. That he keeps fucking babies. And he's asking... <laughs> He's asking He's that asking the for forgiveness. <laughs> no, not yeah, even for, as simple not as that. Not even forgiveness. He's asking the Lord to to stop him from fucking babies <laughs> anymore. Uh, that's the most retarded thing about Catholicism, by the way, 
is repentance is unironically like you'll go to the guy and you'll be like oh i uh you know like i pushed my wife down a flight of stairs Mm -hmm. because she like burnt the dinner right yeah the priest is like rape five children and say a hail mary (laughs) (laughs) and you just have to they just go just say you know nine hail marys yeah, there's, it doesn't take long at all. No, it allows you to just be like, I'm just going to keep committing sins. Yeah, no, you, you don't can, get it at all. You could literally in Catholicism, you can do the uh, Mandalay Bay shooting and then ask for forgiveness as long as you confess it. I believe you'll. There was a thing in the ancient Catholic Church where you can't commit suicide. This is like in the 14, 1500s. You can't commit suicide. So what people would do was, if they wanted to kill themselves, they would kill a kid, get caught killing a kid, and they've been sentenced to death. And before they were executed, they would confess that they killed the kid. And then they would confess that they killed the kid to make a loophole on God. And they're sorry about that. And then they would, in Catholicism, they still be go like, to heaven. They'd be fine. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Unbelievable. So, yeah. I think Catholicism is just for like retarded Italian people. Yeah, I mean, it's for like drunk Irish people and like big fat retarded Italian. People. I mean, it is it is the religion of the two most retarded white people of all time. Yeah, it's for people to be like, I do it for my family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I do it for my family that I hate, but I yeah. I see every single day of my life. I stabbed a Puerto Rican in the chest for my family. For my family. Do you ever uh, drive past a Korean church? You know, because there's a lot of Korean. Korean. Koreans are very Christian out here. Yeah, Korean. There's like Korean Christian churches. Yes, every time I drive, yeah. every time I drive past, I'm like, man, we fucked those guys up, huh? Yeah. They're doing white Jesus. Oh, I. I they what, will have white Jesus painted on the outside of a I Korean know, church. I know. Growing up, I would go to my Korean friends' houses, and they're like, they're all like kind of mm. Christian, and and but they're all super Korean. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, oh yeah, look, I look at the wall, there'd be Christ. And yeah. I'm like, hey, what is he? Right, you yeah. love. White people. You're like, oh yeah, Andrew Garfield got you guys in the 1300s <laughs> yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Any coincidence? Great race, great people, very nice, very intelligent, very clean, very hardworking. Yeah, a yeah. lot of great things about Korean very people. Americanized Koreans. Very. Mm-hmm. very. That's, that's why even, we, that's why we like their movies so much. Yeah, they even make good they get it. fried chicken. They make great fried chicken. Well, they that's this their plan to like start poisoning the like <laughs> poisoning the sauce and kill black people. <laughs> They're luring them in. Yeah, they go. Yeah, we go. Oh, fried chicken. Yeah, come, come in, come in. Oh, yeah. we fried up, we good. Yeah, come in, come in. And they go, shame to your mother. And they go, they go knock the door. Little do you know what is in the oh, deep mango habanero sauce. It is corn syrup. Oh. It is corn syrup that will give you heart disease. It is a lemon, lemon pepper cyanide. No, I guarantee you every Co- Korean fried chicken restaurant owner in LA is a serial killer. Mm-hmm. Like they kill like one black person a yes. week, and they 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 boil him in the back in like peanut oil, like like they're Walter White yeah. making. Yeah. Bones. Any, yeah. Yeah, anytime you they go, go to- motherfucker, George Washington Carver. <laughs> <laughs> they're so racist. They're, so racist. <laughs> they're probably the most they racist go, people I've ever met. They go, I fucking George Washington Carver. <laughs> They love Jesus and they're they hate black people mm-hmm. so much. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So that you that's so why you like them so much. They're white. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Oh, they're a very American. They're, they're yeah. <laughs> yeah, and their children want to be black. So mm-hmm. yeah, they really hit the trinity of because they want to be like white. white people in the 1950s. Yeah, they're like we love Americana actually. Yeah. We want it to be 1953 mm-hmm. white people. Yeah, and their kids we are own like businesses. Yeah, their kids are like I want to be Jed. You know. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Exactly. Hey. Anyway, I guess this is about where we should in the episode before we start talking about like Hitler or something like that. Yeah, probably. Uh, you guys held uh, the baby. F- Beautiful. Uh, Man, it's summer. crazy. I literally put the baby down and then started doing this episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. sick. She was in this room and she's she's here because of this room and because of you guys and because of because of those people. Thank yeah. you all. Thank I, you. I all. pulled the trigger pulled the trigger that show last night connor show there was a couple fans that showed up and uh they were all nice it was very nice but oh those guys were great i was looking like at kiernan them. and uh, cal those guys were great yeah sure i don't forgot their name already but like they oh, were I they remember. were good people i liked i was drunk but i was present you were present you were aware I was, and, no, and I was, that's your burden i was shot <laughs> it's your burden <laughs> you're not gonna remember your daughter's death you know birthday because you have oh keenan and cal were there what, what were they when keenan and kel showed up what are you talking about <laughs> um no they were uh, uh but a few of them they sat and while they were watching the show 
it was funny. I was looking at them, and they were looking at the stage like they were a hunter that forgot his gun. <laughs> like they were look, they they were looking at certain comics on stage like a guy that like he 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 was looking at a deer, but he goes, Where, "Hey, fuck, where's my <laughs> rifle?" So I just think they were expecting a lot of fag retard stuff. Because yeah, no. that's what they think comedy no, is. They think yeah, all no. comedy is that now. I think. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. And then it's, so I've been dating. Sure. No, everyone yeah. everyone did really well. And they were all uh, pretty much, yeah, everyone on the show I liked, actually. So that's rare. Lockwood's yeah. great. Langston's great. Langston. Noah's great. Uh, um, Chris Estrada. Estrada. I got to catch up with, hey, Connor. shout out to Chris Estrada. I hope there's going to be a season three. Mm -hmm. Chris, if you need to deny you know us uh, for your season three, that's fair. Chris is the uh, best. Chris fucking rules. Shout out to Chris. Chris is great. Chris is the only guy. I dinner with Chris soon. Chris is the only guy I know that like has like a show on Hulu. He's like making like he's got to be making a lot of money, and he like showed up to my place one time and like a like it was like a like a wagon being pulled by like a donkey. (laughs) It was it was like insane. I was like, what is Hulu paying you? Would they give you feed? I wonder how much money Hulu does give people. We should ask. You never him. know. We should ask him how much he, money he, he has. He's doing well. Yeah. I, I believe. Yeah, yeah I'll be. But the he's, he's. I'll the, be the judge. He's just a nor. He's just a good down to earth person. So he still drives like a Honda Fit. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You know. Yeah, he's I, can't, I can't see Estrada showing up in like a fucking Bugatti or no, something. No, no, I yeah. don't. Yeah, no, I was showing up in a Bugatti and then talking about O and A clips for forty five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I always know Chris is drunk when uh, he pulls me aside and goes, "I fucking love L A people, fool. I fucking love L A dudes, fool. I fucking love L A. I fucking love L A people, fool." I'm like, "You're hammered." Yeah. <laughs> God, I hope there's a season three of this. I think there will be. There will be. The, the season a, two was show. was like yeah. like doubled down on like like we're gonna like write and if there it's really deep and oh good. shit was Chris at the Golden Globes that we were just watching before this? I don't. Is he there in a, with not, a suit? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know though. Maybe this fool was. Then you saw one of the waiters. So. You got confused. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, you dick. Chris shows up to the Golden Globes and like Jack Nicholson throws him his keys. <laughs> <laughs> hands, hands Chris a twenty dollar bill. He hands yeah. a twenty dollar, and then his stomach falls out of his tuxedo yeah. as he <laughs> this dementia ass waddles to his seat. Don't cry in front of the Mexicans. <laughs> I think popped up on my YouTube shorts. So my YouTube shorts now is for some reason just Quentin Tarantino mm. talking about directing. And like Quentin Tarantino or like Leonardo DiCaprio telling a story about the first time he met like Robert De Niro. Yeah. That's all my YouTube shorts are now. And then like one the other day was uh, it was just Jack Nicholson and he's just like he gets out of a car and he almost falls backward into the car when he gets out. Yeah. And like people are taking photos of him and it's flashing and the physical flashes of light are almost knocking him back. <laughs> like it's I think wind. he is has like dementia now. No, right? he's so Yeah, like he, he is officially gone, I think. He's completely gone. Yeah. yeah. And he's like he's he has a Sharpie and he can he's holding it the way a baby holds a really big crown. Yeah. <laughs> like like this. Yeah. yeah. And he's signing his name in like big swirly cues. And they go, Jack, Jack, are you uh, are you are you gonna film another movie soon? And he looks up and he goes no, <laughs> he kicks he ass. I love anybody. And he looks so fucked I love up. anybody that old that still smokes cigarettes <laughs> in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, you remember he ate that foot long sub. The middle, the, the middle of the Pacific. He's eating smoking, a coney dog, smoking, smoking, a cigarette. smoking a cigarette, and eating a sub, a submarine sandwich. <laughs> Who swims <laughs> down the ocean with a sandwich? That's that's Jack. That's baby. crazy. That's your old pal, Jack. Your old pal. You never had a pastrami rye in the ocean boat. God, I wish he was acting still. Who needs Fuck, salt so when good. you got the Pacific? <laughs> uh, Devin Costa at Hey Watch Pod and at Devin James Costa. Jace at Sad Drawings by Jace. The live streams are going to be every two weeks on the Clips channel. We're going to make them more special. Uh, sometimes I might do them by myself, though, because I, I get a kick out of doing them, but I only do them for an hour. We'll see. I got the baby. and uh, But we're uh, we're toning those down, not because of the baby. We're toning those down for other reasons. It just, you know. It seemed we, like we, we needed to start doing them every other week. Yeah, so that's, that's yeah. the reason. Yeah. They're fun to do, though. So we're going to still do them like yeah. every two weeks. But they're on the Clips channel. That's not the podcast for people who keep uh, getting yeah, confused. No, I, it's I, not the podcast. I didn't find them hard or like I hated showing up to them or anything. It no, was no, mostly no, no. like it's just, it's, it, it felt like a bit too much of us. It felt like we're kind yeah. of overexposing. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. Uh, did I forget anything else? Oh, and then the I don't know if the show sold out yet. 
Uh, but there's one in Austin, and we're adding one in Houston, by the way. Did I tell you guys that? Oh, yeah, I told you, us. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh. San Antonio, by the way, we won't get to come because the club is full and we can't find any other venues, so we're going to do Austin and Houston. I don't know if we'll do El Paso or not, but anyway, uh, you get that cool. at Lemon Party, whatever, and uh, God bless everybody that bought merch. Merch will be coming soon. Right, Jace? Is everything done with them? We're pretty much done with everything. I'm. Uh, it's to... Everything but like 20 orders has been sent out, which I'm working on. They'll be sent out like within the next couple yeah, of days. Yeah, so you'll so. get a notification for that very Literally soon. 99% of the orders like have been sent out. So Yeah, yeah. and if you didn't get it, I guess like, UPS stole it or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So you can just email me. Yeah. So. Anyway. All, All right. right. God, bless. God bless. Bye. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Out in the West Texas town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. Nighttime would find me in Rose's Cantina, music would play and Polina would whirl. Blacker than night were the eyes of Polina, wicked and evil while casting a spell. My love was deep for this Mexican maid I was in love but in vain I could tell One night a wild young cowboy came